Chronicles. Just a little intro video quickly. Uh, we had a snag last night on our APU, one of our aircraft, uh, where you turn the APU switch on after doing all the testing. You get absolutely no temperature, the APU doesn't start, the starter doesn't kick in at all. And it's all uh, to do with sequencing. Um, there's a couple of valves and a couple of switches that have to make first before the APU actually gives like it receives power from the APU controller to start the APU. So if you, the sequencing is completely out or one of the parts is not working where it should, then uh, you have no power to actually start the APU. So we changed the APU actuator on the APU's inlet door last night or this morning actually early about 3 o'clock. And then yeah, uh, the only thing we had is uh, we just got a fault light for the APU. Uh, this is under the lights there, so all the lights are burning currently. So we had the APU fault light on and then obviously the APU didn't turn, so we had no temperature, no light up, no nothing. And yeah, they had a message on the FMC, uh, which is over here. And in the maintenance pages, over there, in the maintenance pages you can go to a FIM, which is the fault isolation manual. And it gave a reference to check uh, a switch on the door. You'll see the switch in the next part of the video. I'll point to the switch. And then uh, oh, the guys had changed that switch already. So that was clearly not the fault. And then I changed the actuator this morning. And then uh, the test after that. So stick around and enjoy the video. Now, see if you can figure out where I am in the aircraft if I show you this uh, jack screw which ties to the stab, the stabilizers in the back there, the rocky you can't really see it. So I am between the AP, which is the engine on the back, and the pressure bulkhead, which is this thing. And you can see where all the cables and the wires run through here. Sounds a bit hollow. Yeah, we've got a small problem, the APU works with an actuator, here's the new actuator, there's the older one, which is waiting for tools to take it apart. And on the outside of the aircraft, there's a door here with a flap, and there's a switch and a motor. And in the front of the aircraft, behind the left hand spa, there's a fuel valve, so which opens first, and then the second thing that used to happen is the sequencing runs. Then this switch makes, it turns this motor on, as soon as this motor pulls the door completely open, the switch is made, it gives a signal to the APU at the back starter motor to start spinning, turn the ignition on, getting the APU to fire up. So yeah, we currently have this problem. The guys have changed the switch already. And uh, that wasn't the problem. So you can see here's the sort of duct going with the back. You can see the duct goes. And it goes through there. On the other side, just below us there, is the APU. So it's only power unit at the back of the aircraft. I can turn the light on. Oh, I can turn the light on mid video. <laughs> nice. Anyway, so yeah, here we go. That's almost the very tail end of the aircraft. And just look at the construction of this. This is quite a, a bulky piece of kit. Quite a solid thing. If you watch those air crash investigation videos, this is what they call the gimbal nut that runs on this actuator. As you can see, this one is well lubricated. They've had this problem with the, I think it was a DC-9, where this uh, gimbal was stripped and the aircraft uh, went inverted and crashed into the sea. It's one of those black box or air crash investigation things. There's actually a video about this gimbal nut fading where this grease had run or stride was greased according to the maintenance procedure and it stripped this entire threads and then eventually this was loose so that the stab which is going to stabilize into this was completely loose and it could tilt and the difference between the DC9 and MD80 MD is that uh, when you fly unlike this Boeing where the flight controls controls the actual controls. The MD-80, you control the, the trim tabs and the back of the uh, elevators and then the elevator moves. So when this eventually goes and the stab is free to move, the elevator is free to move and it doesn't matter what you do with your flight controls, the 
tabs that you are moving are not going to actually do anything if you fly the aircraft. So those guys were quite stuffed, they had really no chance after this script. I suppose you could call this the, the Jesus nut that they call in the helicopters, the nut that holds the rotor head on top of the aircraft, the rotor blades. Now of course once this goes you're in trouble. So yeah, interesting that I can have a chance to be inside here. It's not often for you to crawl in here. I've only actually been in here maybe three times in my entire life. Because yeah, it's an amazing spot. It just looks funny to stand here. Quite spacious though. And uh, all this stuff on here is just the uh, anti-corrosive corrosion material the spray they put on just to make sure the corrosion doesn't really affect this it's not really dirty or greasy it's completely dry as you can see well my hands are slightly dirty but yeah this is not dirty it's just a protective layer that's sprayed inside to make sure there's no corrosion it sort of feels kind of sticky well you should be able to hear that's kind of sticky so now here I am standing and waiting for tools to do the job. Through that hole is where I entered the aircraft. And there's the top of a six foot stand. So this is about, I don't know, 10 feet up in the air. It's a bit of a mission to get through there. A couple of pulleys. Quite amazing. So as you can see, the tooling has finally arrived. <laughs> There's a couple of sockets waiting for extension, so I can get down this little hole and get that nut and bolt up there. And then I'll see you on the flip side after I've changed that one. I'll probably stand inside you while they try and start the APU so I can see what this what the new motor is gonna do. It's gonna be a bit noisy, but yeah, somebody has to stand here and just have a look. What is happening? Well, the actuator is changed. Well, there it is. There's the old one. A couple of tools that I needed. Hey, yeah, look at that! Look at that! Woohoo! Amazing! Problem solved. Yeah, the ignition running. There you go, the start of the APU. You can get pretty noisy in here. Broken. I like that, I like that. I'm going to have to shout and scream. But we have a success. Beautiful. I love it, yeah. Getting very, very noisy, I'm getting out of here.